Welcome to Tokyo Disneyland. This is a pretty unique view from the Sheraton Hotel. This is the Tokyo Bay, the Sheraton Grand Tokyo Bay Hotel. That there is the Disney monorail making its way around the park. And you can see the windows on the Disney monorail. It's very, very Disney. <laughs> which is pretty cool to ride. Yes, Disney has its own monorail that goes around the island. Hi everybody. I am in the Sheraton Hotel here at Tokyo Disneyland. This is just outside of the park. This isn't inside of the, the Disney Loop, but it is a resort here at the Disney Island. And I wanted to stay here in particular because it has a really unique view because you get both parks in one view. Now, here's the balcony. Uh, this is the uh, Sheraton Club Room on the top floor, the 12th floor. In the distance, you can see the Ambassador Hotel. And uh, that there on the left is Space Mountain. You can see that is where the uh, roller coaster is. This is Tokyo Disneyland. And some of the rides you can see there going on. You can also see some of the construction. I think that is for the new Disney park that they're they're building um, coming in the year 2020 and there's Disney Castle that's the uh, uh, princess's castle it's very beautiful and behind it you see the entire city of Tokyo which is pretty cool too that's not uh, this is totally different from Orlando now it th there's also the uh, P pioneer land and and the western land and then if, if you keep panning from the view from the balcony here and I'm gonna go back and do this you can start to see Tokyo Disney Sea and Tokyo Disney Sea is an only in Japan park and this is sort of a bird's eye view because you can't fly a drone over here instead what we have is um, um, you know uh, looking into the park and it's pretty neat because right here is the volcano that has the journey to the center of the earth ride which is really cool and then over here is is the terror tower they're the tower of terror I call it death tower to scare the kids and then you have the boat which is a restaurant there and it's, it's permanently docked in a little uh, man-made lake that looks like the sea kinda looks like Titanic but this is a pretty cool view I'm gonna bring you, I'm gonna bring you back out here I wanna show you Oh, and here's the here's the ocean here and then this is a man-made island built by Oriental Land Company I don't know about uh, 40 years ago they started making it Disney is celebrating its 35th anniversary you can see the airplanes coming in landing into Haneda Airport which is not too far away here's the sea Tokyo Bay leading out to the Pacific Ocean and behind me is uh, the Sheraton Club Room and it wasn't that much more to get a club room and it gives you a little bit of benefits let me let me come into the room very cool so I'm going to take you back outside there but I, I'm, I'm gonna also now give you a tour of the club room to give you an idea of what, what you're getting if you come to the Sheraton I'm not sure about the uh, 4G signal but right now the view is pretty cool from the window so this is a, a look of the room in totality and it is a pretty nice room um, I, I, it's different than the themes of the other floors. The Sheridan has 12 floors here at Tokyo Bay, and the first and the 12th floor is reserved for um, Sheridan Club members, which is kind of a little extra benefit. The price is is very very reasonable. It's just a little bit more. The view, if you look outside, is pretty cool. You have what looks like a desert, and that just happens to be Disney Sea, and I, I love this view. And at night, you don't have to. You don't have to go outside to Tokyo Disney Sea to see the laser show. At night, you can pretty much just sit on the balcony where we just were, and you can enjoy uh, the laser show, which is what they do at Tokyo Disney Sea. And as a bonus, because it's the, the Sheraton, um, you can also see Tokyo Disneyland. You get the fireworks at 8:30. There is some wind here. There is some wind here that whistles in, which is pretty pretty loud but you know it, it, it's pretty cool and I, I love these rooms that Sheraton does the price is re is is pretty reasonable I thought if you compare the the price of the Sheraton room to the to the rooms um, at the Disney like the ambassador the Miracosta yeah this is pretty pretty cheap okay all right now the 12th floor 
the 12th floor is, is shaped like this, and these are club rooms. There aren't that many of them, so they're sort of select. Now, if you are uh, on the 12th floor and you get a club room, what you get is a free breakfast. You get to hang out in their lounge, which is supposed to be really nice. Uh, you have a, a functions room. You have um, a gym. So there's a lot of other benefits to being on this 12th, 12th floor. Now, Sheridan's not paying me or anything like this. I'm just really happy to be here, okay? Um, the room is not, I, I don't think it's any bigger than any of the other rooms. Some of the stuff that you get, you know, is, is the typical stuff. Oh, you got the automatic light, which is nice. It's a safe for your, for your things. There's some complimentary slippers, which is, which is always nice to have. Ooh, yes, you have to have the robes. You have to have the robes. There's a little, there's this complimentary water. You have some coffee and tea. This is, um, looks like instant coffee, which is not, not that great. Some drip coffee in here. Yeah, so that's typical Japanese drip coffee. Not bad. Hot water is right here. Let's take a look at the fridge. All right, so there's no mini bar type of thing, but the fridge is on, so you can buy some stuff at a convenience store nearby and just stock it up and have yourself a royal, royal time. Um, if, if you do come with, with a family, you can get an, uh, uh, yeah, I used to have, it's Club 33. You can, you can also rent the room next door and open it up so you have access to two rooms, which is pretty cool. I love the boat. I love the fact that we, we're on the sea here at, on the seaside of Disney in Tokyo, and they have these, this little model boat just sort of completes the room. Um, very classic wood, darker wood. The other rooms, they have a, a sea theme to it if they're on the seaside, so they're blue. I love this subdued color. Um, it's, it's another reason why I picked it. And again, it was just like $10 more. Um, there you go. There's the 35th anniversary to Tokyo Disneyland. Very nice. Look at those happy, happy two uh, mice on the poster here. I, you know, I like it. I like this place. I think it's a pretty cool, pretty cool place to hang out. Um, the beds. Now this is a room for three people. <laughs> they put a little a little poochy bed here, uh, but I like it. The pillows are all fluffed up and ready to go. We have here um, room service. You can get things sent in the phone, alarm clock. It's basically stuff that they have in here, the tissue box. Um, strangely, I don't see the... Usually there's like a Bible and stuff, but I don't see that here. It's all right. I could live without it. Here's the here's the the bathroom. Of course, you're gonna get a high tech Japanese toilet in the bathroom. Of course, this is not my new apartment. I saw that my new apartment. I'll do I'll do um, a video on that sometime later. But uh, right now, the, oh look at that. All right, that's kind of neat. Do you see how they've got these uh, shampoo and rinse and conditioner? They're all in there in the shower. It goes up high enough for even the tallest of, of people, except for maybe if you're a basketball player, it doesn't go up that high. Very clean. I like it. You got all the amenities. So thumbs up. I have no complaints. Ah, it's, it's, a, pretty cool, it's a pretty cool experience. Uh, we've had an amazing day here in Tokyo. Tokyo right now it has beautiful springtime weather. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's a little bit windy but just absolutely perfect. Um, I, I don't know if I can show you any of the other amenities, but let me take you outside just to give you a look. There we go. All right, this is what the hallway looks like. An exclusive look at the 12th floor. And, oh, the housekeepers are all gone. They were cleaning up until on the moment that I opened the door. Okay, all right. Now I'm going to take you one last time to look at the view. So I, I hope this is I hope this has been kind of a, a, a fun little room review. I, I like these. I like taking a look at all the different kinds of rooms that you can get all around Japan. And this one is is super spacious because in Japan rooms are typically very very tight. And here you have the the I mean it, I, this is sort of weird. But you, you have a really open area, and I, I could actually pan around, which is saying something. I, you don't have to take your shoes off. I always do. Um, that's just me because we live in Japan. 
And I like this chair here. I'm going to be enjoying a cup of coffee here in just a little bit. The mini bed is pretty funny. I had to admit this mini bed is pretty, pretty funny. I don't know uh, who's going to be sleeping there, but <laughs> it's a mini bed, you know? All right, I'm taking you outside. It is sort of weird. All right, so one last final look at the outside before I cut this live stream. It's nothing, this isn't really anything special, but I, I also thought it was pretty interesting to come out here and take a look because um, as some of you who are big Disney fans probably know that uh, they announced that they're creating a third park called D Disney Air. And um, a lot of people have already kind of guessed that's going to be Star Wars theme. I, I'm, I'm kind of guessing because now that Disney owns the Star Wars franchise, that's going to be a, a, a Star Wars um, theme. Disney Island ends right there. So for them to build this this air, they're going to have to take out that parking lot, and it looks like they're already doing that. So there's no cars parked here, so it looks like they're going to be using that, and, and they're just starting to break ground to, to make this Disney air a reality. I'm guessing. I can't say for sure. Um, but you can see the Ambassador Hotel. Uh, that's Space Mountain, which looks like the same in in all the Disney lands, whether it's Disney World or Disneyland in California, and the and the castle. This is live from Tokyo, and there's the the castle, which looks just about the same as everywhere else. Tokyo Disneyland is smaller than the one in Orlando. I, I think it's pretty pretty easy to na navigate around, except it's a little bit more crowded, because there's there's people coming from all over Asia to visit Tokyo Disneyland. That right there is, is Western World or the Frontierland. Um, and then I, I like the Sheraton because you can just pan and you see Disney Sea. You get both parks in one view. And the Sheraton is right on the corner here. So, um, yeah, you, it, Disney Sea is a little bit, bi little bit bigger. I don't know what they're building here. If it's another hotel, <laughs> Sheraton, Sheraton guests are not going to be happy if it's another hotel. But there you go. It's, it's sort of a neat little, uh, a neat little tour of the area. That there is the um, Journey to the Center of the World ride, which usually has a two-hour wait, unless you got a fast pass. And you can see the, you can see the roller coasters um, jetting through there from the room, which is pretty cool. You can't hear the screams, but you can see it jetting around. And just above it, this thing that looks like the um, uh, cathedral in, in um, uh, uh, sorry, in uh, Firenze, in Florence, that I believe is the Minacosta, which is sort of fashioned after Renaissance Europe. It's a pretty cool hotel, just really hard to book and kind of pricey. And there's the sea. And every single club room here on the, on the 12th floor gets a uh, little balcony. So you get a little bit of everything. That's another reason why I like it. The club rooms are here at the end of the, uh, end of the hotel. So you get the sea, you get the, the, the parks, you get an amazingly empty parking lot <laughs> but most importantly you get the monorail which is so cool and this is how we started the live stream we followed the monorail which comes every six minutes which means that this is the second one that's passed very cool I hope you make the trip to Tokyo Disneyland if you, if you do maybe you'll choose the Sheraton or one of the other f the hotels in the area once again this they didn't pay me to do this I just thought, I just thought it was pretty cool uh, to be up here, um, the, the Hilton, the Hilton, which is over there, was totally booked. I booked this in February, which was two months before I came, and the Hilton was booked solid. So the Sheraton was the only one available. Sheraton seems a little bit bigger, but you know what? The food, the the restaurant this morning was really good. Uh, the service is just as good. I don't see why the Hilton is booked any more than the Sheraton. To me, they're almost the same and uh yeah i like saving a little bit of money coming to the sheraton instead of staying in the disney hotels so if you're joining this live stream now i'm just about to end it so sorry people have been asking me why do you make these live streams so long and the answer is because people are joining in on the live stream all the time um i think it takes up to 15 to 20 minutes for everybody to get the notification so if i go offline then you know you miss it people want to share it there's the view going um, all the way left from from this room on the on the 12th floor very nice and now uh, I'm going home the 
I'm digging the, the funky purple too. Maybe that's why it was a little bit cheaper. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's going on here? We only got 79 likes. Listen to Nosh, he, you know? Smash that like button. Smash this like button and I'll, I'll keep making stuff from Disney. You know what, if we, can get, if we can get 150 likes, I might even go down into Disney Sea and make a live stream in an hour. What do you, how do you like that? So if we get up to 150 likes, I might go into the park, you know? So uh, I, I think that that's uh, maybe worth, worth it, right? I, I'm gonna go in there. Cause you know, they, oh, okay, then I, I guess I'm going. Cause we got 165 likes. They stamped my hand. So I have to go in there. This is what the park ticket looks like. So I can get it out for you. Get back in here. So I can get the park tickets for you, show you a little bit of what we got. Okay, so here, here's my park ticket. This is the, uh, of course, Mickey's on it, and it's the 35th anniversary ticket, which is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty long. And, and here's the price on the back. It, you know, I'm a Tokyo resident, so I got a 1,000 yen discount on this, but it's good for today. Yeah. The price, it's, the price is always going up. <laughs> yeah. Tokyo Disney's uh, prices are always going up. Let me see if I have the... Uh, do I have that here? Yeah, here it is. And you can get a one-day pass for, for the monorail. And this is a one-day pass for the monorail. The one-day pass is 650 yen, and if you're gonna make more than two trips, it's worth it. Here's what it looks like on the back. You keep it, you put it into the ticket uh, turnstile, and it lets you in, and that's it. It's just like the Tokyo uh, subway, except it's a monorail. So I hope you like this. Um, thanks for s smashing that like button. I'm gonna go back into Tokyo Disney Sea, and I'm gonna try to make a live stream. Why I'm somewhat skeptical about the live stream in Tokyo Disney Sea is because there's so many people down there, down there where I'm pointing the camera right now. There are so many people, I don't know what kind of reception I'm getting. So if I go, if this stream goes Minecraft, please excuse me. I only do live streams on this channel. Um, but I, I'm gonna go down there and, and give you a, a closer look at Tokyo Disney Sea. But from here, from the room, it looks pretty cool to me. Hear the winds, uh, just swirling by. So as soon as the next monorail goes by, I'm gonna end this live stream. But wow, it is it is kind of tropical looking. So who to ask, do they allow filming? I think so. <laughs> I don't know, I think so. They all right, I'll tell you what they don't allow. And I, I read, I read um, the map. They gave me a map, and they read the map. They don't allow selfie sticks, and they don't allow tripods. And they're very, they're very specific about this. They don't allow selfie sticks and tripods, but they will allow um, holders. All right. But if the holder extends, it's a big problem because there's a lot of tourists in there. They come here with the selfie sticks, and nobody can walk past them because they've extended it. And Tokyo Disney Sea and Disneyland are very, very tight and compact. There's a lot of people in there. So when someone's trying to take a picture with a stick, it just jams up a lot of other people. So the staff uh, will tap you on the shoulder and, and tell you to put it away. Um, I would say no to the Joby tripods. No tripods. You can't put the camera down anywhere. But the... You, I should probably tell you this inside the park, but before I go in there, maybe if the stream does not work out, I, I, you will have this information. If you do come with a tripod, um, you can't use it. The staff will tap you on the shoulder and tell you not to put it away. Like, they're very strict about it. But there are staff members that rove around, and if you give them, uh, if you give them the camera, they will take the picture for you. So essentially, because they know that the tripod rule is pretty strict, they have staff uh, to help you take the pictures for you. Because you know, if you're going with your family like I did, because my family's visiting, they're all jet lagged and taking a nap right now, you're gonna wanna take some family photos, right? And if you can't take the tripod, you gotta find somebody to take it for you. And if a lot of people are busy doing other things, you're gonna have to ask staff. But luckily, there's a lot of people who are willing to take the photo. And, and they took some pretty good photos, so I can't say, um, that I, I don't mind not having to carry the tripod, you know. The best thing is, the, what's whistling is I have the door open. The wind is whistling through the balcony. All right, let me close it.
Ah, there's the monorail, so I'm gonna end the live stream. So this is the third time the monorail, fourth time the monorail's gone going this live stream, so we're gonna end this thing. But I'm really liking... I'm really liking this room, so thank you, Sheridan, you know? I, I, I don't like to uh, plug companies and stuff, but... You know, I thought it's been pretty, so far, everything's been really, really nice coming to this hotel. Don't, if you have a tripod, just don't bring it in because then you won't have to carry it. And I think that's a good thing. You can pack lighter. Um, some of the things that you might want to take into the Dis into Disney is bring some bottled water or bottled drinks with you, maybe two, because the drinks in there are about double the price of what you can get from yeah, there's a toilet. <laughs> That's a beautiful shot of the toilet in the background. It's a Toto, uh, so you know it's good. Uh, you bring bring a couple of bottles of water with you or bottles of tea or, or cola because in there the price is too... Oh, we got a visitor. <laughs> That's funny, look. Oh, welcome. We have a friend. No, 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 you, you're welcome to come in. No, no, you can come in, seriously. I've got, I've got no food, but we don't, we have mini bar, mini bar, wait, wait, don't go, don't do it, bird, pigeon, ah, no, wait, you both are gone, why, ah, I thought we were going to get some guests in here, <sighs> that's funny, I, th there are two of them, like lovebirds, yeah, this is occupied, okay, that's why they flew away, they wanted privacy. So, uh, I, I think you should bring in some uh, bottles of water or some tea, at least two of them. That should last you. Uh, that They'll stamp your hand so you can leave the park and then come back in at another time. At that time, go back to the station, my Hama station. You can eat lunch and save some money. They have a, like a TGI Fridays and some other restaurants there. That's a fraction of the cost of eating in there without having to wait in line, which is it's a godsend if you're, if you're with a family. Um, the only thing is that you have to bring your family one stop on the monorail back to the station, which is kind of a hassle. Uh, however, you do save the money, and it's nice to take a break. Um, today, today, I was surprised, and I'm going to end the live stream uh, in just a second, just give you some, some information on Disney Sea. Uh, Disneyland is celebrating its 35th anniversary, which means that Disney Sea is not as crowded as Disneyland. Disney Sea was built um, when I came to Japan. It was built like two years or a year after I came to Japan, which was what, 1997 or 1996, I believe. So Disney Sea is, is just a little bit over 20 years. So Disneyland is like 35 years old. So everyone has gone over to Disneyland. Disney Sea is not as crowded, which is a good thing. A lot of the Japanese celebrities went to Disneyland, which means that, you know, I don't care about the Japanese celebrities. Let the, you know, everyone from Japan is going there. We're going to go to sea. So. I'm going to take you to Disney Sea because I made a promise if you smash that like button that I would take you down there and you guys did that. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down into Disney Sea and, and live stream just a little bit around the lagoon and maybe show you a couple of things. Um, maybe I can I can show you a gyoza dog or some food. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'll go in there and take a look for you. I think it's kind of fun um, to see. I know there's lots of videos already on Disney Sea, but when probably in an hour or so, I'm going to sort of rest up, but before the sun goes down. But I, I know there's already a ton of videos on, uh, on Disney Sea and Disneyland on YouTubers. You, YouTubers have covered this like, like crazy. There's not, nothing really new I can show you that somebody else hasn't done for Disney Sea. However, if I can find a unique angle, I'm gonna try to live stream it. And if I can um, sort of find something that's interesting or just, even if it's just like introducing you to the lagoon and just showing you live, that would be pretty cool. Fireworks and laser show, I will not be able to bring you because there's no way I can live stream it. Too many people in one area won't get a signal. I can tell you right now, it'll be Minecraft and people get upset. When I did a Minecraft episode because the, the signal was bad, I lost the most subscribers to the channel than all the other days. And that was um, during the Cherry Blossoms, during a, a fan meetup, a viewer meetup. I lost like 800 subscribers because the quality of the videos were so bad. So I don't want to go Minecraft anymore. It just is not worth it. And I know that's a Minecraft area. I got to film it and then upload it. But I, like once again, if you search it, you're going to be able to find that on YouTube. So uh, there's not really much of a point to do that. Oh, I'd like to ride that. Too bad that's not a ride. <laughs> All right. 
Well, a lot of people, you know, not everybody knows, and not everybody knows me for the main channel or some of the other stuff I do. People will unsubscribe all the time, but new people come in all the time, and we got a lot more new people coming in than people leaving, which is which is always a positive sign. <clears throat> Success. We're doing pretty good, I think, uh, bringing some pretty cool stuff. I want to know. I think that looks like natural gas. So be, beyond. Beyond there, it looks like a like natural gas and maybe some factories. That's Chiba. So Ch Tokyo Disneyland, although it has Tokyo in the name, is actually in Chiba. Um, and there are direct buses from Haneda. All right, this is this is also cool. It's eight hundred and sixty yen, or about eight dollars, direct from Haneda Airport to Tokyo Disneyland, and it takes about thirty minutes. And that's just super cool. You can fly into Haneda, get to Tokyo Disneyland within 30 minutes, of, I'd say about it, within an hour of landing, and you're in your hotel and you're at the park. That is pretty awesome. Um, I'm pretty, I was impressed because I went to pick up a friend of mine who visiting from London, um, and then I, I sent him on a bus to go the other way. I had to say hi to my friend if he's coming in, even if it meant taking a couple of, a couple of hours from my family. I had to go say hi to my friend, and uh, I was just impressed with the fact that they had that bus that goes all the way to to, to Haneda Airport um, and back for such a ridiculously cheap price, so efficiently and so fast. Very, 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 very cool. Um, I mean, you can't do this. I don't think that that's possible at any other Disneyland in the world. And there's what Euro Disney, Disney Hong Kong Disney, Shanghai Disney. I think this is the most convenient of them all. Yeah. All right, everybody. So I want to say thank you for watching and. Uh, this is the fifth monorail. See ya from the park, hopefully, as the sun goes down.